The principle called the bullseye aim suggests that uh, it's similar to the principle called life will not go well. I just realized that just now, how similar those two are. Whereas life will not, does not, will not go well suggests that, that we should be ready for and expect um, challenges and obstacles to our, our decided path. The bullseye aim basically says the same damn thing. Hmm. Just realized that, that I've got two principles that basically say the same message. Therefore, do I need both of them? Although, up until now, they've kind of served a different meaning. The bullseye aim is more visual. Oh, gosh, they, they, it's kind of reinforcing the same thing twice. The bullseye aim says that, that when we have... You know, they do a little bit differently. They're, they're saying the same species of message, but in a different way. The bullseye aim says that we should expect to shoot for a particular mark, but just like playing darts... It's, it's the exception when we hit the bullseye. We're pleased if we get anywhere close by. We don't get upset if we're not close because we know that it's unreasonable to always expect to hit the bullseye just like it would be. I could call this principle getting a, you know, the strike and bowling. It's unreasonable to expect to strike every time. We're delighted when we have a strike and we're, we're pleased in uh, diminishing, uh, with diminishing returns, the, more, the better the quality of the of the strike of the number of pins that go down likewise the closer we are to the mark on the on the darts that's how life should be treated as well i have an idea about how i'm going to do something and then i i expect you know differential results and i'm delighted when it turns out the way i expect hmm. so then life will not go well should i keep that one or the other one or should i keep them both life will not go well See, now, the life in Lacoa well is specifically positioned right after um, temperance. And I did that deliberately because I'm saying, okay, we should, we should, hmm. And likewise, the bullseye aim is positioned right after the, the principle called script writing. Temperance suggests being able to control our, just like I did yesterday as I fell down, controlling our reaction when life doesn't go well. That's exactly what happened yesterday. So let's, let's take that case study. Temperance was what I did in the moment as I was falling and preparing to, to, to get injured. And I was reminding myself, be ready to handle this in a, in a tempered manner, so to speak. I didn't think script writing, bullseye, aim. Script writing was the planning that I do. See, that's, that's the difference. Temperance and life will not go well are tools in the immediate moment. They're actually action, things that are happening when I'm not script writing. Script writing is what I do when I'm planning for substantial events. Like let's say I have a big meeting at work and I'm going to do a big presentation. I'll script write how I want that to go. I'll come up with an agenda, of course, for the meeting. Then I'll, I'll in my mind, I'll run through what it would be like to execute that, that, that agenda for the, for the team in the meeting. And the bullseye aim then reminds me to expect differential, as I said, results. Hmm. So script writing and bullseye aim are something are an applied tool. Temperance and life will not go well are an, are a frame of mind in the moment. I think that distinction. I think I can keep them both if I keep that distinction. Wow, see how this effort, this is this good life act exercise, this is exactly what I do use this for. Although it's rare that I, I, I tease out something in that much detail as I just did. But that's good. I'm pleased with that result.